All right, everyone, pull up a Hefeweizen and uh, let's go over the different levels of doctors. It's one of those things that you should probably know because some doctors are going to come up and ask you questions and other doctors, they're going to tell you what to do. So some of them you should definitely listen to and other ones, you know, take it with a grain of salt and do the right thing. Okay. So there are different levels of doctors and let's get into it. Okay. And we're going to start right from the beginning. So, um, the first level of doctor, I guess you could say, is pre-med. So when somebody says they're pre-med, it doesn't really mean anything, all right? That just means that they're taking uh, strides towards getting into medical school, which means they're probably taking extra classes um, like anatomy, physiology, um, maybe ethics, business, something like that. They're taking extra classes to get into medical school, right? And once you get into medical school, that's when you reach the next level, which is medical student, right? So there are some important things that you should know about medical students. Uh, they have no medical degree yet. Uh, they will accompany doctors. They have to accompany doctors on rotations. So you'll see them. They'll all be sitting there charting stuff and whatnot, and they will be floating around um, on rotations. But they can't make decisions of medical care. Probably a big point. I should point that out. All right. So um, next comes your residents. There's different levels of residents. So, uh, and they're not all treated the same. All right. So residents have completed medical school. Um, they passed licensing exams. They're there basically for hands-on training, okay? So they have to learn how to be a doctor. They've learned the school side. Now they have to learn the physical side. And so it's a hands-on training. And residency programs last usually between three and eight years, something like that, depending on the specialty. So there's different levels of residents. So let's get into it. Let's start at the first level, interns. <laughs> Everybody likes uh, making fun of interns, but... Interns have graduated from medical school, but they're not licensed to practice medicine, right? They must be supervised. Interns must be supervised. And interns are what we normally call first year residents, right? So that's your entry level resident is an intern, right? Then next we have junior residents and junior residents uh, are usually their second year of residency. So junior residents might come up and ask you questions about the equipment. How does it perform? They'll be uh, going on these different types of cases. So they might ask you, what is that? What does that do or whatnot? I've, I've had them ask me that stuff all the time. And um, it's because they are, you know, getting used to that specialty or something. You know, they'll, they're, they're kind of cruising around all the different type of aspects of of uh, being a doctor to figure out what kind of specialty they want to go into. Okay, so that, uh, your junior residents to your um, senior residents. Uh, senior residents are three-year residents and they usually know what's going on. All right, and they're the type of people that w can and will uh, start telling you, you know, what they need. So if they need this to happen in order for this to happen, then three-year uh, residents you know, they're usually the ones that, that kind of have it somewhat figured out. So those are called senior residents. And next to senior resident is big head honcho. All right. That's going to be your chief resident. All right. Chief residents are the most senior residents. Okay. And they're in charge of directing all the aspects of the residency program. All right. They're basically the boss of all the other residents. And they have completed three years of residency already. So that's your residents. There's different levels. And I bet you didn't know that interns are technically a resident. So the next ones, <clears throat> the ones that led to this video, because I never really knew in the hierarchy where fellowship stood. So that's why I had to do my research in order to do this video. The next one's fellows. And fellows have completed the residency, all right? And what they are doing is they are learning their specialty. That's what your fellowship is. So 
if you're learning trauma, uh, orthopedics, if you're learning vascular, neurosurgery, whatever, pediatrics, uh, that's what your fellowship is, right? So they're right below your attending physicians. Uh, it's advanced training in their specialty after the residency. And fellows can write orders for patients and they can make treatment plan decisions. So fellows know what's going on. Um, they're in the know type of people. They're usually very, uh, very positive, and they've, I've had nothing but good experiences with fellows, guaranteed. So, uh, and then right above fellows is attending physicians, and attending physicians, they're fully trained doctors, and they've completed at least three years of residency. Um, they may have completed uh, board exams for their specialty, and they're senior doctors. You know, they are the guys that say what happens and they are the ones that uh, will sign orders for patients and whatnot. Uh, your attendings are the go to guys. OK, they they are the ones that know what's going on um, above them is going to be your department heads. All right. So your department heads are your different specialties. Like uh, like I mentioned earlier, you got orthopedics, you get pediatrics, anesthesia, neuro, plastics vascular there's all sorts of different uh, specialties and your department head is going to be the go-to guy for that specialty it's going to be the person so if if you aren't getting the answers you need for the equipment or for the situation that's in a department you go to the department head that's the person that makes the final decision for what happens to that type of patient all right so that's the department head and above the department head is going to be your medical director and your medical director is responsible for all the doctors in the medical facility. They're in charge of all the patient care. They're managing all the programs and uh, they're going to be the guys that are doing quality control. So when you get inspected and stuff, they're the ones that are going to be um, asking the tough questions. And that brings it up. Uh, medical director and department heads are going to be the ones asking you questions whenever there's a, a patient-related incident, okay? I have stood uh, in front of medical directors and department heads before when something happened that cost like a high-dollar loss of some sort, like the freezer that caught fire. And, um, you know, it, it's just one of those things. Present nothing but the facts if they ever do ask you questions and don't waste their time. It's two different things. Tell the truth. On whatever it is and don't waste their time and don't speculate all right I never speculate when when somebody senior like that ask you questions never speculate on what happened you can tell them what you know and let them figure it out okay because you never want like their word against yours you're not gonna win okay so that is basically everything it's the stuff that you guys really need to learn so you do have your pre-meds your med students your interns your different levels of residents, you know, your junior, your um, your senior, your chief resident, then your fellows, which are the guys that are learning their specialty. So if you want to be a cardiologist, you have to go through a cardiology uh, fellowship. All right. And then your attending physicians. Right. And when you get to attending physicians, that's kind of where it kind of caps off. And then you get into your executive levels, which are going to be your department heads and your medical directors, right? And that's pretty much it. So that is the different hierarchy of medical doctors. And I think maybe the next one I should do will be nurses because there's a variety of different levels of nurses, uh, patient care. So maybe I'll do that one next because it seems to confuse a lot of people. But anyway, guys, there you go. That is your doctors in a nutshell. So thanks for watching, guys.